catch Punky again. Surely she's got to pee as soon as she wakes up in the morning, so she's still in bed. I'm going to go over here and try and rouse them up. Uh-oh, there they come. And bring it moving. <laughs> Stay in there. Stay in there, baby. Now oh, they heard me coming. <coughs> Alright, well, she hasn't peed yet, but I'm going to follow her around see if I can catch her. Curly, she's got to pee first thing this morning. Soon he's peeing. We don't need hers. Get out of that, Maggie. Oh, she's pooing. Come on, give me some pee, Punky. Poppy's peeing. Everybody's peeing but Punky. Peachy's peeing. Alright, Punky, you're the only one left. Every other girl has already peed. Step back away from him. I have no food. I haven't even bought the food yet. Alright girl, I'm going to start nudging you then. You're the only one that hasn't peed. The only one. Let's go. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> there you go, Poppy. Tell her a pee for me. Huh? Poppy, are you giving her the pee nudge? Huh, are you going to give her the pee nudge? She looks like she's going to do it. All right, we got it. All right, now if I could just not spill it. Thank you, Pop, Punky. All right. Here you go, swine pregnancy test. Punky's pee. I'm going to take some... A little bit out of here. There should be plenty. Oh, look, it came with a little tiny dropper. A little mini mini dropper. So I guess uh, last time we talked about these, I said that you needed to get some, but I guess you don't. Alright, so here's the test. I'm going to put a few drops in here. And then we wait. Alright, now we wait. I'm gonna fix y'all's house. Huh? Try not to tear it up tonight. Get back in there. Get back in there. I don't need you out here helping. I that ought to keep the cold wind off of them for a little while until they bust it out again. That must be the preferred house of everybody. So this morning I finally caught uh, pumpkin peeing. Came out here and got her before she got out of bed this morning. And uh, let's go inside and see how that turned out. Okay, so we uh, finally caught pumpkin's pee this morning. And, well, let's just jump right to it. So I put it on the pregnancy strip. Which is, uh, again, this guy right here. They got this on Amazon. Uh, it came, I thought it came 10 to pack, but it was 12 of the pack. So that was a little bonus for me. All right, so I took the medicine dropper and I put three drops in the uh, little test hole here. And guess what? Negative. So I thought to myself, well... I used the big medicine dropper that uh, I bought at Tractor Supply, and they came with their own. It was real tiny. I fit in here about it was about this big, and I thought, well, okay, maybe I overloaded it. So let's do another test. This time I did three drops in the hole again with the tiny medicine dropper, and again, negative result. So now we've got a couple questions to answer here. Number one, are these reliable? And uh, that's what we need to figure out. We uh, had Pumpkin and Oliver together, and she missed two heat cycles that we could tell. And she's very easy to tell if she's in heat or not. She's the easiest of all the females we have, Gilson Sal's. 
to tell if, if they're in heat. And she definitely missed two heat cycles. And at that point, we split them back up, put Oliver back over with Simon, and put Pumpkin back with the ladies. And uh, have been watching. Uh, got her marked on the calendar, and we've been continuously watching, and we have not noticed any uh, heat cycles. And she should have missed three heat cycles since uh, we think she was bred. And, uh, in fact, she should be in a heat cycle right this very moment, and she's showing no signs of that. She's normal size. She's not puffy. She's not real red. She's uh, I mean, she's really easy to tell. So we don't know. So we're going to continue to monitor her for uh, her to get in her heat cycles and uh, hope for the best. Hope that these are not that reliable. Um, the reason we bought these is because Poppy is very difficult to tell if she's in heat or not. And in addition to that, she won't let the boys breed her. And uh, we're going to work on some, th some things to change that. But we got these because we wanted to be able to test Poppy and find out if she's been bred or not. Because it's really hard to tell if she's in heat. The biggest indicator that she's in heat is how the boars act around her. And now that they're uh, a good ways apart from each other, we've got the girls in the front and the boys way back here in the back. And the boys... Uh, can't tell as best as they could when they were all right up here beside each other. So that's the reason we got these and uh, hopefully we're going to get a breeding session with Poppy and I think we're going to do Simon. Facebook is where we discovered these things and we watched some people on there use them and they, they said four to five weeks I think is what they said. And uh, we were probably in the eight to nine week range of when we finally got caught her to pee and uh we're able to test this so maybe the doesn't work in that after that time frame i don't know so we're going to continue to watch her and uh hopefully she is pregnant and hopefully we are going to have piglets uh april 9th would be her due date if uh, she was bred one of these we think she was bred so so uh we'll see and we'll uh Definitely use these again on hopefully a confirmed breeding in the future and figure out if these things are indeed accurate or not. So that is the big question is, can we trust what these say and uh, or should we just do it the old fashioned way and trust what the pigs are telling us? So we're going to continue to watch her and uh, that's all we got this time. So like if you like what we're doing here and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for watching. 